For more on Africa's readiness to tackle the coronavirus, we now speak to Dr. John Nkegasong, the director for the Africa Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, who's in Addis Ababa. Thanks so much indeed for joining us. Um, this disease has gone global. It's in more than 10 countries, but still not in Africa yet. Absolutely. We have not yet... Um a reported confirmed cases in Africa. However, there, are, there have been some suspected cases which we are waiting final confirmation. And those are uh, from uh, Ivory Coast and, and Kenya. Again, there are suspected cases. We are in the coming days, we'll know if actually they are confirmed or not. But you're absolutely right. Um, Africa, so far, we have not uh, reported uh, cases. All right. Are we ready to deal with uh an influx of uh, perhaps people that might have and might be carrying this virus. Is Africa prepared? What I can say is that um, this is a fast moving, fast evolving uh, uh, outbreak of the coronavirus which uh, we have not seen before. And uh, the, the, the advantage Africa has now is that we've seen this unfolding in China and other countries, so we've given us a little bit of space to prepare. So I think that we are not optimally prepared, but we are preparing as quickly as possible in a coordinated fashion with the World Health Organization. So all member states are at the very highest alert. Uh, we just conducted uh, a meeting a few minutes ago with all member states uh, that coordinated from the African Union uh, to uh, uh, ch check with them how uh, prepared they are. And we continue to provide them support in the areas of laboratory uh, testing, in the areas of enhanced airport uh, um, uh, screening and monitoring, and also in the areas of infection uh, prevention and infection control, especially at the hospital. So uh, we, had co we continue to coordinate our efforts across the continent while hoping that um, we'll be able to deal and cope with this uh, outbreak in case uh, it becomes a huge issue in, uh, on the continent. All right, African countries uh, across the continent are differently resourced. Some have got more sophisticated equipment uh, than others. Uh, what work is being done to help those that perhaps uh, don't have uh, the same kind of resources available to them? Oh, that's a very good question. I mean, our strategy from the Africa Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has been a network model. And that's why I explained a few minutes ago that we just had a meeting networking the uh, uh, most national public health institutions on the continent such that we can harness our assets across the continent and support countries that are less equipped to handle uh, this uh, uh, scenario in the areas of surveillance, in the areas of laboratory testing, and in the areas of reporting. So we, expect, we don't expect that every country will be able to um, uh, do the entire spectrum of uh, analysis and support, but with a network model, we hope that we can actually um, uh, uh, support one another and, and cope with this mm -hmm. outbreak in case it becomes um, a massive uh, situation on the continent. It, it is a new uh, strain and unknown uh, quantity of uh, coronavirus, but what do we know about it so far? I, I'm sure scientists have been working around the clock to try and get to understand this one uh, a bit more. Absolutely. I think that, um, the first thing is that we, 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 we are searching for, let me start with the unknowns. We, we truly don't know where, what the animal uh, reservoir is. We, we certainly know that um, this virus is closer to the, 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 the other uh, coronavirus uh, SARS, which uh, occurred in China in 2002-2003. Uh, the, the genetic material, that is the sequences of this virus, is very closely related to uh, the, the SARS uh, virus. I think that is already a remarkable achievement that within uh, uh, under less than a month, scientists were able to uh, sequence the virus and share that sequence information globally. And that is what we are using to develop diagnostic tests that are helping us to detect and confirm the infections there. The other thing that we are learning uh, about the virus is uh, since December is that it can be transmitted from person to person. I mean, very initially, if you recall, uh, we are not sure if the virus was uh, 
obtained primarily from animals or it was transmitted from person to person. Another thing that we had, uh, uh, begin to understand a little bit more is the incubation period of, of this virus. And uh, there are still many things that we are learning. And, it, and as we learn it, it will enable us to control this uh, outbreak more effectively there. But the remarkable progress has been made over the last mm -hmm. one month to uh, understand uh, some aspects of this virus. It must be encouraging that uh, some people have recovered. Has that left clues at all for, for people trying to treat this uh, virus of what to do in, in the first instance, even if there's no cures yet? Absolutely. Uh, there is always, uh, in, 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 in standard virology, it's always a good thing to uh, see people that have been infected and recover from it. So they, they provide an additional uh, uh, opportunity to learn and understand the, the, the pathogenesis, what we call the mechanisms of which the virus produces illness in people. So I think this is a very good thing that we have over 60 people that were infected and recovered. I think that would be a, a tremendously important uh, uh, resource for the research community internationally to understand uh, how to tackle this virus. All right, and then perhaps uh, just for all our viewers, um, what word of warning or advice might you give our viewers uh, in case they're worried and perhaps uh, are not feeling well and they suspect that uh, they might have been exposed to something? There are two sets of uh, advice I would like to uh, uh, put out there and really uh, insist on that. I think the first is that uh, it's a collective responsibility that we, we maintain certain uh, 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 practices, that is regularly washing the hands with uh, soap and disinfectants, that when people are, are, are coughing, uh, they feel like they're sneezing and coughing, they should do that uh, through uh, 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 tissues that they can dispose of appropriately. And when people have a fever and they're feeling cough, sick, and having shortness of breath, they should really begin to uh, uh, report to the medical services. But when they do that, to, to really report that they have the symptoms so that they do not infect uh, uh, hospital uh, uh, healthcare workers. Because as we know, these people are at the front line and most of the deaths have occurred uh, amongst these uh, hospital healthcare workers there. I think uh, uh, self-reporting is very important so that we can rapidly contain uh, th this virus on the continent that doesn't have a lot of uh, uh, medical public health facilities there. So that would be my message uh, that we don't have the vaccine, we don't have treatment, but we have traditional known methods that can allow us to at least uh, distance ourselves in the massive gathering if we feel like we are sick, report to the, uh, the, the clinician that uh, the, the symptoms that we are having, and uh, with that, I think we'll continue to uh, uh, develop best practices that can contain the virus in case uh, we have a, a massive outbreak on the continent. All right, so uh, no room for complacency, definitely. I believe the African Union is uh, coming together to talk about this. Uh, is there a worry? Uh, what do you know about this meeting? And uh, will you be making representations? Absolutely. The, we, the Africa CDC just briefed uh, the Permanent Representative Committee a few minutes ago. Uh, that is a, 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 a representation of all the ambassadors from uh, the 55 member states on this uh, very important and worrying situation, which was very well received. And uh, they also committed their support to the Africa CDC and member states to continue to uh, support us as we work with member states to contain this outbreak. We also know that there is a summit planned in the first week of February, and we will be working collectively to make sure that we implement measures that will uh, ensure safety and, and, and health security of, of the participants uh, during that com uh, Congress. All right, Dr. Nkega Song, that's where we'll leave it. Thank you very, very much indeed uh, for uh, speaking to us and uh, uh, giving us uh, some very important information about uh, this uh, fight against this virus and how we can keep ourselves safe. That's uh, Dr. John Nkega Song, who's uh, the uh, head of the Africa Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, speaking to us uh, live from Addis Ababa in Ethiopia.